The Japan Meteorological Agency said an 8.4 magnitude earthquake hit the northeastern Honshu Island on Friday, prompting a huge tsunami that destroyed buildings and vehicles. The agency revised the magnitude of the quake originally from 7.9, while the U.S. Geological Survey upgraded it to 8.9. Kyoto News says three people have been killed and eight others were missing after a landslide triggered by the quake. However, it's expected the death toll will rise. The quake struck around 380 kilometres to the northeast of Tokyo, with a depth of 10 kilometres under the seabed. It was felt in almost all areas in Japan's Pacific coast, including Tokyo and Osaka. But the worst destruction occurred in Kamaishi, where television footage showed buildings and vehicles being swept away and destroyed. Fires have also been reported across a wide area, including at an industrial plant in Chiba Prefecture. Police said that many people have been injured and electricity has been cut across the affected area. Sendai, northern Japan. And this happened a few minutes ago, right here in Japan's uh, main island of Honshu. A major earthquake with a magnitude 7.9 has hit Japan. Meteorological agency has issued a tsunami warning for the Japan coast. Similar situation was felt here in the newsroom of NHK newsroom here in Tokyo where the staff had to evacuate under their desks. It looks like a light has gone, gone out to, in our Sendai studio. Things have returned near that area. In Miyagi Prefecture, northeastern Japan, an intensity of 7 was recorded on the Japanese seismic scale of 0 to 7, the highest level possible. According to the Nuclear Power Security Agency, the five nuclear power plants in northeastern Japan have been shut down. According to the Nuclear Power Security Agency, the five nuclear power plants... In response to the quake, all Japanese cabinet ministers have been summoned to the Prime Minister's office and a crisis management team has been set up there. The Chief Cabinet Secretary, Yukio Idano, said the government has dispatched self-defence force troops to Miyagi and the Defence Ministry has sent eight air freighters to check damage in the worst hit areas. All Shinkansen bullet trains have been halted and some Japanese nuclear power plants and oil refineries have been automatically shut down following the quake. A tsunami watch has also been issued for a huge area, stretching from Japan and Russia down to China's Taiwan, the Philippines and Indonesia, and across to Australia, New Zealand and the US state of Hawaii. Philippine authorities have already raised the tsunami alert to level two, which means mandatory evacuation in eastern coastal areas.